So that's what I've been doing for the last two and a half years, paying unbelievable, scrupulous attention to where I am uncomfortable. Now, it's okay to stay uncomfortable, but not to not know that you're uncomfortable. It's important to say yes to whatever is happening at the moment. This is not about like wrestling your life into the right place. It's about awareness, it's about awakening to what is. And that's what I want to talk to you about for the next couple of days. That's where I want us to go. Because I really believe that right there, sitting in your chairs right now, you know your destiny, you know how to get there. And it's pushing at you gently, or I don't know, for some of you, maybe not so gently, saying, you're not comfortable this way. This thing here, it's not comfortable. This thing here, not comfortable. There are different ways you can deal with that. But tonight, I just want to talk about becoming aware of it, which is the first step. And by the way, just to scooch forward a bit, I, I have talked a lot in my written work, and well, in everything I do, about magic, which is a code word for spirituality because it's definitely not religion, and it's not spirituality the way a lot of people see it who come from a religious... I came from a religious background. It didn't work for me at all. So I'm not thrilled with religious language. I'm also not thrilled with the word magic, because I also believe deeply and completely in science. I, I went to school for a long, long, long time, and I really believe that the scientific method where you create a hypothesis, and then you see if it works, and if it works, then your hypothesis so far is confirmed. If it doesn't work, you have to drop your hypothesis, modify your hypothesis, try it again until it freaking works, okay? So when I talk about magic, what I'm really talking about is, well, first of all, what's happened to me, but what will also happen to a lot of you, probably all of you, if you go along the path of pure integrity, if you start to wake yourself up on this retreat to the forest or on any other, including going out to your backyard in the morning, if you go someplace that has a fairly pure, still energy, and you get very quiet, and you notice where you're comfortable and not comfortable, and you start to listen to it, things begin to happen to you that don't fit within our secular culture's definition of normal, or even possible. 